Hello, my friends. Coach Mark here from Minnesota Flyers Gymnastics. Uh, we are going to do a class with our Bigger, Stronger, Faster group and our ninjas. Um, it is going to be uh, a lot of work today. We have a lot of stuff on schedule. As you can see, I'm outside, and it's like 90 degrees out here. So that's why I'm wearing a hat. Keep the sun out of my eyes a little bit. You might see me a little later with sunglasses on if it gets any brighter than this. Um, we have a warm-up there we're going to start with. We're going to do a, a lot of core things. We have a couple core things in store. We're going to do a, a leg strengthening exercise. It's also going to work on our heart, our conditioning. Uh, we have um, agility exercise, too, to work on quickness and, and change of directions. And, and we'll even add some little hand elements on that. And uh, we'll have a, a cool down at the end of that. So a lot of things coming up. We had better start warming up for them. So the first thing we're going to do our warm-ups. Uh, couple different exercises than we did last time during warm-ups. First one is going to be a pogo. I really like pogos. We're going to, on our pogo, pull up our big toes, okay? And then it's going to kind of make the feet feel uh, very rigid. And it's going to kind of get our calves and our Achilles ready and our feet ready for action. So I'm going to do 15 pogos. So with arms, you can have them up, you can have them down, doesn't matter. Just think like a pogo stick, and we're just going to bounce. We're going to bounce about 15 times, okay? So my heels don't touch the ground, kind of like when we jump rope. I'm just on the ball of the foot. <clears throat> Very good. Got that Achilles ready. Our next thing we're going to do is knee hugs. So with that knee hug, I'm going to grab uh, my knee with two hands. You can do it with one hand, too. I'm going to use two on this one, and I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up so high that I'm going to get up onto my toes, on my stance like that's on the ground. So when we do this, we're going to stretch on that backside. Get that hamstring a little stretch, a little stretch on our glutes. Next one is going to be a, a stretch for the front of our legs. We call those quads. Uh, it's a little ankle grab. So I'm going to reach back, grab my ankle. I'm just going to give it a gentle pull, okay? <clears throat> so just a light pull. A little extra stretch on that front of that leg, okay? I don't want to crank on that thing, okay? If you crank on it a lot, you can make, you know, hip flexors kind of angry. Um, so just that little bit of a gentle pull it always feels pretty good. Next, I'm going to do uh, some kicks. And the kicks, you can target those hamstrings again. I'm going to put a hand up. You can put two hands up if you want. And I'm just going to kick my leg towards my hand. I always like to do opposite arm opposite leg. Okay, got about three kicks on that right side. I can do three on that left side. Right hand is up. I'm giving myself a target. I'm kicking towards that. All right, next, I'm going to put my arms out to the side. I'm going to kick across my body. So I'm going to have to toe out a little bit on my stance. Like, so with my left foot, I'm towing out, and I'm going to try to kick across and reach to that opposite hand. Same thing. On the right side, toe out, kick up and across. One more for each side. Okay. Uh, after that one, we're going to do a, uh, a little bit of a lunge series. So the first one I'm going to do is a, a forward lunge with a forward reach. So with this forward lunge, I'm going to step, kind of make it a long step. I'm going to drop down into a lunge. And we're going to reach forward, push back, okay? Switching legs, I'm alternating legs. I'm going to do three for each side. Step forward, reach forward. I'm going to try to keep my back tall. I don't want to let my back round. Nice little rule of thumb. If you do any squat or lunge, if you have writing on the shirt, anybody standing in front of you should see what the shirt says, okay? So coming right at you, I'm going to lunge forward. If I didn't have my arms in the way, you probably could read my shirt. If I let my back kind of bend over, you wouldn't be able to read my shirt. So one more each side. Step forward, reach forward. Step forward, reach forward. All right, we're going to reverse that. We're going to do a reverse lunge. And instead of reaching forward, we're going to reach straight up. Okay, I'm going to alternate sides. I'm going to step back. Drop to the bottom, reach straight up. Okay, we get a little bit of shoulder. 
mobility when we do this. We get a nice stretch and also when we wait for those arms to get up, it gets a length in that stretch how we get there. I'm going to do one more for each side. Step back, reach up, and last one, step back, reach up. All right, so when we do that reach up, uh, we want to make sure that our torso is tall, that we're not uh, extra leaning back. We just need to stand tall and then just pull those shoulders up as high as we can. Now after that one, we're going to do some, uh, to get a little bit more inside work in those legs, we're going to do uh, a lateral lunge with a pivot. So you get to see my back on this one. I'm going to step out to the side. I want a nice stretch on this side, so my weight's mostly over this lunging leg. I'm coming up. I'm going to pivot around and step out the other way. Step out, come up. Pivot back around. Step out, up, pivot, out, up, pivot. All right. Uh, after that, we'll go more towards that upper body. We're going to do some figure eights. So with this one, I'm going to be moving back and forth on my, on my feet. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to imagine that I have a big uh, marker in this hand and there's a big canvas out in front of me. And I'm going to draw a big eight on its side. Okay, so an eight upright would kind of look like that. We're going to tilt it this way, making a big sideways eight. I want to make it as big as I can. And in order to make it big as I can, I'm going to have to rock side to side on my feet. Okay, that kind of gets the hips involved, gets the feet and ankles involved. <clears throat> we get to make bigger turns on our shoulder. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Maybe start with small eights and then work our way up to bigger eights. One more. Okay. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to get the, uh, the hips and the torso more involved. We're going to do some throw downs. So I'm going to pick up some imaginary um, no, sawdust chalk. I'm going to reach up and I'm going to throw it down. Okay, so from the side, reaching up, throwing it down. Reaching up, throwing it down. One more time. Up, throw it down. All right, we should be warmed up. Let's get busy. Well, my friends from class, we are going to do a matrix exercise. Uh, this is gonna be something that's going to be working our legs, working our arms, definitely work our heart and lungs. I learned this many years ago from a strength coach from a pro hockey team. They used it uh, with their dry land training and off season to help condition the players. You work all the muscles and you work kind of fast. So this is really good for if they have long shifts. And anyway, I haven't done this in quite a while. I'm gonna do this with you today. Now I'm gonna use some dumbbells. You wouldn't have to use dumbbells on this one. And I'm gonna use some fives. Um, usually eights would work best for me. I have gone up to 10 pound weights. But uh, today, I'm just going to use the fives. It's 90 degrees out here. As you see, I've lost my hat from previously, but I'm going to put my glasses on so I don't have to squint in this bright sun. So I'm going to pick up my fives. And there are three parts to this matrix exercise. First part's an upper body part. And it's going to be six reps of everything. The whole matrix, it's, everything is six reps. So it starts out with a press. One, two, three, four, five, six just alternating arms, then it goes to a Y press. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's gonna be some uppercuts. So with the uppercuts, we gotta kinda turn and pivot, just kinda like we're throwing punches. Make sure you don't punch yourself, especially if you're holding a weight in there, that could end very badly. Uh, after the uppercuts, we do six curls. So those are easy and fast. After the six curls, boom, 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 we do six rows. That finishes the first part which is just focus on, on the upper body then we go right into the lunge part so it will be six lunges three each side of a forward lunge where we're gonna alternate okay and then we take the dumbbells we'll just reach towards the ground then we will do a lateral lunge okay off to the sides and then we're going to do a pivot lunge which, which is where we're gonna turn pivot reach to the ground face forward again I'll do another one right here turn lunge, 
pivot right back. So we do those as fast as we can. Then we get to the third part, which is where we repeat those three lunges, the forward lunge, the lateral or side lunge, and that pivot lunge. But at the end of each of them, we press the weights over our head. Okay, so by this point, we're combining lower body and upper body. A lot of movement going on. That's why five pound weights are gonna be perfectly challenging for me. And anything more, much more than that, will make it pretty hard. So if you have weights at home, you again, you wouldn't have to have weights at all with this one. Your heart's gonna beat fast, uh, and you're gonna be breathing hard whether you use weights or not. But if you do have some light weights, uh, just use them carefully, make sure you ask permission. Twos would work, threes would work, fours would work, fives would work. I wouldn't go much more above that, especially if this is the first time you've done that. All right, I'm gonna slow down my pace a little bit. I usually like to try to get it done within 90 seconds. I'm gonna slow down the pace a little bit, and I want you to work with me so you can pause this right now and grab those dumbbells and come back and turn this back on, and we'll do this one together. S since there's so many parts, it works best if you do this at the same time with me. And we shall start in three, two, one. Press, two, three, four, five, six. Y press, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uppercut, turn and curl. Again, we don't want to hit ourselves with those dumbbells. Okay, curls, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bend over, keep that back tall, row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we start the lunges, step forward, okay? Just like with those warm-ups, we always want to keep that back tall when we do our lunges. There's going to be a forward lean. It just kind of happens natural. Okay, off to the side. I'm stepping out to the side, putting most of my weight on my lunging leg, keep my other leg straight. We end up getting a bonus stretch off that deal. All right, now we do that pivot. I'm going to turn, face the other direction. <clears throat> Lunge, face the front again. Two, three, Four, five, and six. Oh, we merge them together. Step forward, press. Step forward, press. Four, you guys are doing great if you're keeping up. Getting that heart rate up. Six, off to the side, press it. Off to the side, press it. Three, four, Five, six, the pivot, press. We get my lunge, turn, press. Three, four, five, six. All right. <clears throat> if you kept up, excellent job. I can tell my heart rates, my heart is beating fast. My breathing is up. I worked a lot of muscles, I can feel. A lot of my muscles have worked. Great job. We'll get on to the next exercise. All right, my friends. We are going to do a core exercise here. We're going to do a front plank partner pyramid. Lots of P's right there. Uh, I recruited two boys here to help me, Isaac and Elias. And we shall have some great family time here. Oh, boy. Nothing like doing a planks together to keep the family tight. Um, so with this plank pyramid, you can do it with me. I have, uh, you can kind of see them in view there. I have a bunch of dumbbells. So your mom might have dumbbells like this. I had to steal them from uh, um, my wife, the boys' mom. And as you can see, there are a lot of pretty colors here. And if you don't have dumbbells like that, you can find other things that you can use to build. Dog biscuits, uh, cans, okay? A lot of things work. Uh, but anyway, I like doing this. It's a chance to do a plank. It's a chance to do a plank with other people and to be creative and build stuff at the same time. So just a little word about a plank. Isaac, would you care to demonstrate a plank from the side? Now there's two ways that I find acceptable doing planks, right? I know Isaac's done a lot of planks and he'll do it right. So he's squeezing his backside. He's bracing and squeezing his abs. Now, uh, sometimes if you don't brace and squeeze your abs, you'll end up kind of resting on your back muscles. So I actually am okay sometimes having some people do a little hips up. So if you want to do it, the, the best way to do is like Isaac is showing 
right away with that straight line, but I am also okay with a little bit of hips up. Not too much. I mean, we're not getting a lot of work on our core for a way up there, but if we're up just a little bit, we are using our abs to kind of uh, hold us up. So two acceptable positions on this one. All right, so I'm doing this with two friends here. Uh, if you have two friends recruit, that's awesome, or two parents to recruit. Uh, if you have just one available to help you, that works too. If you are watching this by yourself and you don't have a partner to build with, that's okay. Just build it the same time we build it, and you can just move it back and forth. So uh, we are going to get in place. You'll kind of see how it works in a little bit. We are building these pyramids. Each of us get to build it twice. So I'm going to take my position on the end here. It's hot and sunny outside. I'm going to put my sunglasses back on. I'm going to get my front plank position. Isaac, if you wouldn't mind getting over there. And Elias, we just need a little bit of space between us. All right, is everybody in the plank position, squeezing? Awesome, it's time to start building. I'm going to start grabbing stuff. Now these are weights. I have a seven. I have a six. I have a five. Okay, as you can see, I'm picking up an arm. It's going to challenge my core a little bit more. I'm putting it there. Grab another one. Now I'm down to threes. Little three on top. All right, very pretty. All right, Isaac, go ahead and build this. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Isaac, don't grab that outside arm. You got to pick. Yeah. Okay. He start his base. And then Isaac, you got to put that arm down. You got to switch it over to the other arm. There we go. Yes. Nope. <laughs> There's always one in the group. All right. All right, remember, we got to keep the big ones on the bottom, little ones on the top to have a engineered structure. All right. Oh, we lost. Transfer. Transfer those arms. All right, boys have their own way of doing things. How are you guys doing in this plank? Okay. Anybody feel those abs yet? No. All right. If you're doing it at home, again, you're building it this way, build this way. I like to pick up a weight, hand it to my hand, and set it over there. So when we're doing this, <clears throat> we're getting so much more challenge on that core. All right. Elias is done building. It looked like his pyramid exploded at the very end. One. He is working downhill a little bit. Getting close. All right. Break these down. All right. Pick it up. Put it there. Pick it up. Put it there. All right. Last ones. Boys, how are those abs doing? Oh, yeah. great. Look at this. Nice and stable. Ta da. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun doing that. Uh, we got to move some weights. We got a heavy pyramid here. We got to do some planks. We got to do with some friends. All right. Well done. Thank you, fellas. All right, my friends. We're going to do a agility exercise here. Actually, we have two agility exercises that we're going to look at. It's still like 90 degrees out here and starting to get pretty sweaty. Uh, I have Isaac off camera right here. He's got uh, a job with this one. And we're going to do uh, the first one now, which is going to be some, some hide-in, some little hockey stops. And with that one, there's a couple ways to do this one. I'm going to step to the side and jump out to the side and try to stick my landing. Now, when I stick my landing, I'm going to try not to let my heel touch the ground. And then I'm going to kick my other leg behind as a little counterbalancing right there. If your heels touch, that's fine. Uh, the more you practice it, the more you want to kind of land on that ball of foot and kind of stick it. We get to overload our Achilles and our calf, and, and uh, it's good balance work also. I'm working on a slight downhill right here. I'm probably going to uh, misstep most of my reps here. Now, 
it's probably hard enough for me to do it as it is. I'm going to have Isaac throw a ball to me at the same time. So uh, you don't have to use a ball if you don't want to. Uh, if you do, if you're by yourself, you can probably bounce the ball off the floor and catch it as you're holding that stick position. Or you can have a, a parent or a sibling or a friend toss the ball to you. And it's okay if the ball tosses off to the side. Uh, so we'll have to do some maybe reaches for it. And, uh, you know, again, it's uh, anything that challenges balance um, is good and something that we don't always have to have in the same exact spot. All right, Isaac, you want to get centered for me? All right. So um, I am going to step to my right and then launch off my right leg, land on my left leg, try to hold that position, which is challenging enough without having a ball being thrown. And then Isaac's going to try to throw a ball, and I'm going to try to catch it. I'll do two in a row on that side, then I'm going to switch and do two in a row on the other side. All right, I'm going to do my best. That's all that matters. Okay, step into my right, step to my left. All right, step to my right, step to my left. Let's do one more. Step to my right, step to my left. All right, survived that. Didn't really excel at that, but that's okay. The more you practice things, the better you get at it. I need to balance it out and work the other side too. Gonna give the ball back to Isaac. All right, so this time I'm going off to my left, jumping to my right. Try to again load on that right side without my heel touching the ground. Okay, off the left, off to the right, off the left, off to the right, off to the left, off to the right. All right, all right, I need practice, but that was still kind of fun anyway. All right, the next thing we're going to do also, we're going to be moving laterally, uh, are going to be some hurdle uh, steps. So I'm going to have some hurdles here, and uh, these are kind of made for these, for this hurdle stepping. Isaac, if you want to just be close by and handle the hurdles when I need them, I'm just going to start with two. Now, we don't have to have hurdles like this. You can stack pillows. Um, you probably don't want to use your siblings or, or anything like that, but or anything that you might break in mom's china cabinet, but there's a lot of things you can substitute I'm using these hurdles because I have them and they're just so light and easy. If I knock them over, it's not a big deal. So with this one, I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to try to step over the top of these. I'm doing this in slow motion and I want to get my feet off the ground as fast as I can when I do this. And then I'm coming right back. Okay, right back to where I started. Then Isaac's going to put another hurdle out. I'm going to get these a little closer. So I have six hurdles here. I'm just going to start with two. Then we're going to add three, four, five, six. Now we want to think getting off the ground as fast as we can on this one. Under control. Oh, everything has to be under control. All right. Over the top. Over the top. Okay. I just put another one out. Okay. It's three. Okay. Make sure it's in view. Okay. There's four here. Got to go this way, Isaac. All right, five. I get a little break here. Okay, next one. Got to get the knees up. All right. Last one. I'm starting to feel in my, my calves and my ankles. All right, there you go. All right, we'll hope you give this a try. Again, you don't have to have hurdles, pillows, other things that work. Just make sure it's nothing where you can trip and get hurt on or nothing you can break. All right, thank you. Well, Isaac and I are going to do a partner workout here. We are going to do two birds with one stone type of thing. One person is going to start in a front plank position and do a walk up. Now, we can make it more challenging. Isaac, do you want to demonstrate right here? We can either just lift and walk ourselves up like that, or we can push through our hands and do a walk up like that. Much more challenging for the triceps. Uh, you could even do a combination of those. You can do as many of those as you can. And then uh, if you can't do any more, just continue with those walk ups. But it is going to be a countdown style. 
So uh, meanwhile, while Isaac's doing that, I'm going to be holding this big old plate right here. Now, if you don't have plates like this at home, you can use a rock, something heavy, something that you're not going to break or drop on your foot. So I have my arms about 90 degrees, okay? So I'm getting nice work on my bicep in that position. It's called isometric, which means your muscle isn't changing uh, the movement on it. It is locked into one spot. So we will be getting pretty strong at that 90 degree position. So we're gonna do this together. Isaac's gonna do 10 of those walk-ups while I'm holding my plate at 90 degrees. He's gonna get up. I'm gonna happily hand him the plate. Then he gets to hold at 90 degrees. And then we're doing countdown style. So he's doing 10, then I will do nine. Then when it's his turn again to be down there, he'll do eight until we get all the way down to one. So uh, at the very end, your arms are getting me pretty tired. So holding this at that 90 degree position is going to be yeah, more rewarding. So Because if we are holding it for a long time, our arms will fall off. All right, as you ready to start this? Yep. It's still hot and sunny out here. It's like 90. I'm going to put my sunglasses down. Okay. And my arms are locked in. All right, go ahead, Isaac. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so first hold wasn't that bad but it's going to get harder as it goes along as we get more fatigue building up. Hope you guys are doing this with us. All right, one, I'm looking for nine here. Two, three, four, five. Now I started left hand in front of right hand. I'm going to switch that. I'm going to do right in front of left. Six, seven, eight, nine. And I could be a real jerk here if I want to leave Isaac hanging there. But I like Isaac a lot. I'm going to get up as fast as I can. And I will take my weight up. Poor Isaac. I'm so old. I move so slow. Oh, I'm going to take my time oh. here. Hey, he's paying me back here. <sighs> All right. So whenever Isaac decides, when he's done yawning and stretching, he will One. do seven. No, eight. Two. Eight. He's getting ahead of myself Three. there. Three. Four. Well, it turns out this second Five. round, this... This object Six, I'm holding is heavier. This plate is heavier than it was the first Seven. Time. Eight. All right. I shall happily hand that off. Uh, <laughs> a couple of nice stretches. All right. I'm looking for seven. Okay. Left in front of right. For the first three. There's three. I do right and center left. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Isaac. Well, I'm just going to look at some birds. Over oh, here. and then what a time to look at nature. So, okay. After Isaac's done discovering birds, he's going to do One, six. Two. This plate has gotten very three, heavy. Must be all like sweat. Isaac and I are dropping off. Five. On. Six. All right. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, it's always nice if you pick somebody nicer than Isaac to go there. All right, I am looking for five and one and two. We end up getting some good core work out of this, too. Three and four, five. How are your arms feeling, Isaac? Great. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit. I'll let you off the hook on this one. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, lovely. I'll hand it over. I'm looking for three. One, two, three. There you go. I got a wood tip. Oh, you want? No, thanks. I have some weight. All right, there you go. That time of year. Man, I would have One. Uh, <laughs> oh, what a time for Isaac to take a break. Two. <laughs> All right. Is that what to, oh, okay. Is it still there? Yep. Okay. All right. 
the grand finale. I got things, Shay. Come on, go up with that left arm or the right arm. I'll go with the left arm. One. All right. Is that hard, Pops? Yeah, Last I'm sweating. I'm sweating. All right. Hey, thank you for trying that. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel my biceps. I said, you feel your biceps? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And then, uh, yeah, feel those triceps too. Got some core work out of that deal. Got to do go up and down a little bit. Got to end up doing some legs also, a little bit of total body. All right, hope you give that a try. All right, my friends from Minnesota Flyers Gymnastics. That was our day. We're going to do a little cool down here. Uh, we had a busy day. I mean, we had that warm up and we had the matrix. Uh, we had that uh, the plank pyramid moving. Uh, we got some agility exercise in. We got to work on our on our arms with that uh, the partner uh, isometric and uh, tricep get up. And now after all that, I am sweating a lot. Gonna do a little cool down. So kind of doing a lot of the same things that we did in that first one. Sunglasses down. It's still super hot outside. Gonna put those shades on. I was protecting the eyes. Pull up the big toes. Pogo jumps. We'll do about 15. All right, after those pogos, going to do our little combo of ankle grabs where I'm just going to find an ankle, just gentle pull on that, do a little stretch on that front of that thigh, that quad. All right, uh, going to pick up those knee hugs, find that knee, pull up on that knee, nice stretch on that backside. After doing that matrix, this feels good, getting that stretch. After all those lunges that we got, uh, after that we'll pick up a couple kicks. Put up a hand, opposite foot, kicks. I'll do three for each. Switch hands, kick, kick, kick. All right, gonna get those hands up and out to the side, kicking across my body. Remember that little bit of a toe out, kick across, you have that target of the hand. All right, after those, uh, we're going to move a little bit more towards that upper body, picking up that, that big figure eight, rocking on those feet, making that eight bigger and bigger. Okay, can do that same thing on that other side, rocking back and forth, kind of like we do with the golf swing. All right, and then finally we'll get those throwdowns. As always, we'll have that back tall, reaching up, throw it down, reaching up, throw it down, one more. All right, there we go. All right, my friends, I hope you had a great day. Hope you gave everything a try. We'll see you next time. Bye.